Now that we've covered three ways to model solar radiation, you might be wondering, can't we just measure this directly? Why yes, yes we can. By 1981, available satellite data suggested 344 watts per square meter of insulation, but with a high error. This led to the launch of the Airbus satellites to improve precision and coverage. By 1988, we had a clear map of Earth's radiative budget that substantiated climate models. Those data are public, by the way, at the link above. With the launch of the Ceres satellites in 97, a real-time energy budget was created for the whole Earth. Mean insulation? Around 340.5 watts per square meter. In addition, a vast network of ground stations monitors radiation reaching the surface. You can access these data through KNMI Explorer. Using the example from St. Petersburg, you can see how clouds reduce top of the atmosphere insulation, which we calculated last time. And now you know how it's done. Have a question about climate? Leave it in the comments.